Hi, I'm Mira from Flow with Mira. Today, I'm going to take you through a Pilates class for core workout. So where is the core? The core is a part of our body that is located in the area that spans from the lower rib cage to the pelvis region. It covers the front of the body, the back of the body, as well as the side. It consists of your abdominal muscle group, your deep back extensors muscles, as well as your hip flexors. So let's go ahead and start the class. So we're gonna start this intermediate class by kneeling upright. Have your hands behind your head. So we're gonna work on our deep abdominal muscle, the transverse abdominis. So breathing into the nose, expanding the rib cage. Exhale, drawing the center tight like as though you're wearing a corset. In breath. Exhale. Taking care that as you breathe, that you're not tucking your bottom under. So let the glute alone or leave the glutes alone. So in breath, exhale, just literally wrapping the waistline in towards the midline. In breath, exhale, three more times. Two more here. Last one. And let it go. Let's take ourselves to a quadruped position. Align the shoulder and the heel of the palm and the center of your hip to the knees. Broad shoulder, power through the arms, down towards the floor as you push off the floor with your center, your abdominal muscle. So we in breath. As we exhale, I like you to again wrap around that waistline, drawing the abdominal wall up towards the spine without taking your spine into flexion. So we want to think about this is your spine muscle. This is the muscles around the spine. Really wrap around that spinal girdle. Okay? So in breath. Exhale. Inhale. So I'm thinking I'm decreasing my waistline towards my spine. In breath. Exhale. And three more. Keeping my spine nice and long. Two more. Keeping my shoulder active and my neck long. Last one. Tuck the toes under behind you. In breath. Drawing the TBA muscles and I like it to float hovering the knees off the floor and stay in this position. Keep breathing for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and the last. Lower down, release the ankle, sit down, take your legs forward to the front of the mat. Diamond leg position. Sitting nice and tall, hands, you can grab the arms or the hands underneath the thigh. So really try to perch on your sitting bone and allow that spinal column to sort of lift off that pelvis and lift off that sitting bone. Stack the shoulders and the pelvis. Now here, in breath, exhale, go ahead and wrap around the waistline. Then on the inhale, I want you to lean back. Keeping that straight line in the spine, your arms straighten, come back, aligned. Inhale, pull away, exhale. The gaze of your eyes are going to follow through that leaning angle of the spine. Exhale, again, in breath. Exhale. You may also have your hands on your shoulder and the elbows lifted and lean away. Exhale. Inhale. 
stay long. Exhale. So you're really hinging from the hip joint. Bring your body as far as you can. Exhale. Working the hip flexors muscles. Exhale. Well done. Transfer your arms back underneath your thighs. Lifting tall, sitting tall, breath out. Pull the abdominal muscle in. Take your spine into that C curve position. So you're rounding the back, so your obliques and your rectus abdominis are really working here to flex that spine. And then we roll back till the arms are straightened. Hold, exhale, take our body over your pelvis, lift the spine tall. And exhale, C curve. So abdominal muscles pulling back towards the spine, but the spinal column is curling up and over forward. And then we roll back. Exhale, forward, lift, tall. Exhale, roll back, in breath. Exhale, and lift. You can also have your arms reaching in front of you. Exhale, with no support, all the way back where there's no turning back. Then we pull up and over forward. Lift the spine upright. Three more. Exhale. Roll back. Roll back. Melt the lower spine onto the floor. When there's no turning back, we're going to pull yourself upward again. And a little lift up tall. Again, pull in. Bring your body up and over. Roll back. Gaze forward. And when there's no turning back, you can pull yourself up, over, forward again. And we lift. Last one here. Exhale. And roll back. In breath. Exhale. Lift up and over. Lifting up. Brilliant. Okay. Straighten the legs. Moving on to our roll over. Arms are forward. Parallel with the ground, rounding the back into the active C curve. And then we roll back, get the sacrum onto the floor, melt the lower spine onto the floor, then take your arms overhead. We inhale, lift up to a chest lift, arms by the side. Exhale, sink the belly to the spine and come up over into that C curve again. Inhale, we hold. Exhale, we pull back. Roll back, sacrum, lower spine. Then take your arms overhead. Again, two more times. Inhale, left. Exhale. And inhale, keep the length. Exhale, pull back in the abdominals to get the sacrum down to the floor. Arms overhead. Last one, in breath. Exhale, up, over. Over, over, inhale, exhale, let's roll it back just to the chest lift position here. Okay, take the leg closer to me to a tabletop, second leg up to a tabletop, turn the palms down facing the floor, straighten the legs to an appropriate height, moving to our hundreds, we inhale, lengthen the spine, exhale, and in, two, and in, try to get that lower spine on the floor. And three, four, on five, six, seven, when you think you're going to drop down, I want you to lift up a little bit more. Eight. Nine. And the last. We hold, drag the knees, drag the knees, lift the chest a little higher. Oh, that's hard. Come up a little bit more. Can we do it? Excellent, and come back down. All right, take your arms out to a T position. 
I'm just going to scoop down the mat. Moving to our spine, twist supine. So, anchoring the shoulders down, rotate towards me on an inhale from the waistline. Now we hold that. Extend the knee on the top leg. Keep the legs together still. Bring it back to the center. And we fold over to you as we inhale. Extending the top leg. And center. And we fold. To me, we inhale. We extend. We pull back to center. And we bend. Over to you, we in-breath. And extend. Back to center. We fold. Last set, in-breath. Extend. Center. Fold. Last one. Keep the thighs together the whole time. And extend. Come back in. Center. Hug your legs to your chest for a moment. Stretch your lower back. We've got single leg stretches and crisscross. So have your legs back to the tabletop position. Lift the head and the chest up here. I'd like you to place your hands on the knee away from me. Extend the other leg long. Lift the chest a little higher and let's switch. Exhale. Two. Three. Four. Last set, five. We hold, hold that new height. Lift the chest a little higher first and hold that new height. Interlace your hands behind your head. Extend the top leg and switch. Switch. Extend. We fall. Extend. We fall. Extend. And fall. Extend. Fall. Last set. Extend. Fall. And crisscross over to the bent knee side. And we switch. I like to think about going up and over, up and over, up and over, up and over. Last set, last one, stay. Come back to the center, grab the hands on the knees, bend the elbows, lift that chest a little higher. Find that new height, I want you to hold that. Now transfer your arms back behind your head. Extend the left leg or the leg closer to me again. Rotate with a crisscross and I want to straighten the top leg. And we bend, switch, straighten, bend, switch, bend, switch, bend, switch. And, and, last set here. And come back to center, hands on the knees, bend your elbows, lift up a little higher. Double leg stretch coming here. We inhale, reach. Exhale. Inhale, reach. Exhale. Four more, reach. Three. Keep the chest high. Two. Last. Stay. Grab the hands behind your thigh. Lift that chest a little higher. I like to straighten the legs up. Now, this one's a little challenging. I like you to externally rotate your thighs here. All right. This is a classical double legs lowering here. So, interlace your hands back behind your head. Lift that chest. I want you to lower the legs to an appropriate height for you. And exhale. Five more, inhale, and exhale, four, in breath, three, two, one, hold, hands behind the thigh, lift up a little higher, and bend the knees. Chest down, 
lower one foot down, second leg down, arms long by the side, have your fists slightly apart. We've got shoulder bridge prep and shoulder bridge coming up here. So let's do two pelvic curl. We breathe out and roll up to that bridging position just to stretch the front of your body after that intense abdominal cirrus and roll down. And the next one will stay up there. We start with the shoulder bridge prep and then we move on to a shoulder bridge. We roll up again, pressing the shoulders down to the floor. I need to press the leg closer to me on the floor. Take the other leg up to the tabletop and we lower for six. Exhale, inhale, down. Stabilize the pelvis on a three, on a four, on a five. Last one, six. We hold, extend that leg straight. Continue for another six, lower. Flex, inhale, point. Inhale, exhale, in breath. Exhale. Two more. Last one, hold, we point, we bend the knee, we place the foot down, we establish the pelvis position if you have moved before. We anchor the foot at the foot and then take the other leg up to the tabletop, balance that position, we lower, lift, lower, lift, three, four, five. Last one here, six. Hold, straighten the leg. Can we reach a little higher off the floor? I think we can do it. Press the arms and lift up more. We exhale, inhale, flex. Exhale, point, inhale, up. Exhale, four, five, last, and up. We point, we press up a little bit more. Have that last bit in you. And we lay hold the leg down. And we roll, we roll, we roll, we roll. Well done. One leg up the tabletop, corkscrew is coming. Second leg up to the ceiling, not the ceiling, to tabletop. Then both legs up to the ceiling. Lock those feet together. All right, let's work the obliques. We tip over towards me. Side, down, over to the opposite direction. And center and over to you, inhale. Exhale, circle down and around. Legs stay together, inhale. Circle down and around. And inhale, circle down and around. Last set, in breath. Last one, in breath. Come back. We bend the knee, we hug the legs for a second. Release the pelvis down, release the foot down. One, two, straighten the legs. Bring them together, arms overhead for the roll-ups. We inhale as we lift. Exhale, we pull up. Oh, that was hard after all that abdominal work. And then we lift the spine tall. Adjust that bottom, take the flesh out of the bottom. And dorsiflex the feet, interlace your arms overhead. Lengthen up tall for the spine twist. Towards me on breath out. Center, other side. Last set, last one. We lift and lengthen, and arms behind you. Separate the feet slightly for the back support. Opening across the front of your chest. Power through the arms, long back. We breathe out. We lift. Neck is long and down. Just gonna adjust my arm here, and. We lift and down. We lift and down and lift. 
One more here. And lift. And come back and release. Come and face me. And we're going to do our side bend here. So I have my left hand down on the floor. You can mirror me. That's probably going to be your right arm here. Now I'd like you to have the top leg in front of the bottom one and make the angle rather large. Okay. Strong. Armpit girdle. Opening through across the front of the chest here. Push the floor away with the arms. We're going to lift up, reach up to that side plank. Now take the top arm over, loop down, create a rainbow-like position. Back to the side plank. I want you to lower the pelvis, keep the spine long, and just towards the end, bend the knee. And we bounce it up again. Exhale. And lift. And hip down and softening again left and and up and then hip down two more left and side bend and forward hip down and we bend last one left and side bend and up hip down and release switch over to the other side Okay, again, make the angle of the knees rather large. Power through across the front of the chest. And we go. Lifting up, inhale. And side bend. And up. Hinge down and bend the knee. Again, lift and side bend. And forward, hip down and softening. And left, side bend. And forward, and down. Two more, left, side bend. And forward, hip down and knees. Last one, reach. Side bend, and out. Hip down and release. Well done. Okay, so let's go ahead and go into our quadruped position. We're going to do what I call um, a modified pack push up. I learned this from a functional trainer, an excellent one called Darok, and he's based in California. Um, and he does this functional training, and I thought it's so good. It's so good, I'm going to add on to my class. All right, so I copy this from him. We got a quadruped position. Press the toes down. Now I want you to lift that TVA, lift the knees up. Now you are in that modified plank position, bending the elbow sideways, maintaining the shoulder placement, shoulder blade placement, and we push up. We bend. We push up, we keep in the trunk, nice and long, in, down, 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 10 more, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, can we do another 10? Maybe, let's go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, almost there, 3, hang on there, 2, hang on there, 1, release, we made it, release the ankle, sit down, quick rest position, well done, well done. Okay, all right, transfer yourself to our belly. We've got swimming and double leg kick. I almost forgot what I was planning to do. Okay, so legs are straight, nice and long. You're going to pick up that lower abs. We're going to sand that sitting bone down towards your feet. And then we're going to float the legs, float the arms. Lift the right arm, left leg. 
Lift the left arm, right leg. And then we go. Inhaling five times. Exhaling. Inhaling, reaching away. Exhaling. Inhaling, stay long. Exhaling, pick up the belly. And we go four. Five. Movement from the shoulders and your hip, not from the knee and the elbow. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. We hold the legs, legs together, arms out to the side, circle behind you, interlace the fingers, place it a little higher on the shoulder, not the shoulder, the middle back, and then drop the elbow, turn your head towards me, and let's go, double leg kick, we kick, three, two, one, inhale, reach the legs off, off the floor, lengthen the arms, lift the back, head over to the other side, and we go, one, Two, three, inhale, reach. And to me, exhale. Inhale, reach. And to you, exhale. Inhale, reach. Last set, exhale. Inhale, reach. Last one, and. Inhale, reach, reach, long and release and send the elbows and the forearm to the side of your shoulder push the floor and pull up the belly send your pelvis back to your heels for another rest position a quick one and roll up and we're going to end the class with a really really awesome thigh stretch okay right the ultimate core control Kneeling upright, aligned knee, hip, shoulder, ear, and one alignment. So just watch that you don't poke your head forward. Arms are forward. Imagine, I like to imagine that I have a table underneath my arm. I'm going to gently press my arm against that table, and then I'm going to recruit my lower abs and taking my pelvis slightly posterior, slightly tuck under. And I'm gonna hold onto my deep abdominal muscle, my TVA, as I breathe out. And I'm gonna lean back in one straight line. I'm not gonna lose this area. I'm gonna pull myself back. And I'm gonna relax again. I'm gonna exhale, contract, pulling everything, engage the arms, and lean back from the knees. Hold in breath. Exhale. Again, exhale, lean back. As I inhale, I'm thinking lengthening, lengthening, lengthening. As I exhale, pull up and come back. Last two, exhale, lean back. Hold, inhale, lengthen, lengthen, exhale, come back. Last one here, we go. And lean back, in breath, exhale. And let it go, shake it all out, shake it all out. Okay, let's send the pelvis back to rest position again. Take the arms forward. Whew. Good job, in breath. Exhale, one more time. Exhale, and roll the spine up. And you are done thank you for joining me on a mat and i hope to see you on a mat again on another class thank you and have a good day congratulations on completing the class well done i am mira and i'm here to help you to look and feel your absolute best through pilates if you enjoy this video you will love my free better postures in five days program Click the first link in the comments and sign up. I will instantly send you a daily email with a 15 to 20 minute workout each day. This workout will work your whole body to help open, stretch and strengthen your posture. Your spine and body will love you.
Don't forget to like and comment with any question you may have about Pilates. Subscribe and turn on notification so you don't miss any of my free Pilates video. See you in the next class.